Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to work another problem in hypothesis testing with uh, means and small samples. That means sample size is less than 30. Here we're going to take the training wheels off a little bit. In the last couple of problems I've really talked over and over again about some very, very important concepts that I want you to keep in the back of your mind. I'd like you, if you haven't already done that, to go look at those last couple of problems because I do a lot of additional talking about really important things. In this problem, I want to take the training wheels off a little bit. We're going to read the problem. We're going to solve it. We're not going to do a lot of exposition, a lot of talking, because I want to show you how simple these problems can be uh, with very little steps once you know what you're doing. So we're going to keep the talking to a minimum and just go ahead and work the problem, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So the problem is, at a water bottling factory, a machine is supposed to put two liters of water into the bottles. After an overhaul, management thinks that the machine is no longer putting the correct amount of liquid uh, into the bottles. To test this, they sample 20 bottles and find an average of 2.10 liters of water in these bottles with a standard deviation of 0.33 liters. Is there evidence at the 0.01 level of significance to show that the machine isn't working? So this is a slightly different kind of problem. Basically, you have a, a water bottling plant. You have uh, bottles that come down the assembly line, and the machine squirts water in there. It's supposed to put two liters of water in, uh, but in fact, they overhauled the machine, they upgraded some stuff, and these people now think, well, no longer are we doing, or no longer is the machine putting two liters of water, or the appropriate amount of water into the bottles, which is two liters. And so we do some sampling. We test 20 bottles, and we get a value of liquid that are in those 20 bottles with a standard deviation, and we want to test at 0.01 level of significance to figure out um, is the machine working or not, uh, and, and so we're going to look at that. So let's go, and first, most important thing, we need to write the hypotheses down. So what is the null hypothesis in this case? Well, first of all, it's a mean. It's a liquid level, which is a number, and it says a machine's supposed to put two liters of water in, so the mean really should be equal to two liters. It doesn't say anything about greater than and less than for the null. It just says that it should be putting two liters in, so that's an equality. After the overhaul, people the management is thinking that is no longer putting two liters. Notice there's no greater than or less than wording in there. So the alternate hypothesis is that the amount of water in there is no longer two liters. Notice these are still mathematical opposites, equal and not equal here. Now because we have a not equal here in the alternate hypothesis, because of this symbol, uh, we know that we're going to be running a two-tailed test. Right? So it's not going to be just a right half test or just a left hand test. We're going to have two tails. That's because when we look and see, it's either putting two liters or it's not putting two liters. In other words, the machine might be putting consistently more than two liters or consistently less than two liters. So on either side of the mean,